10 moons people can live on. Number 10, Miranda. This happens to be the smallest out of the five large moons that revolve around Uranus and the most probable choice to set up a human colony. The moon is known for having an abundance of fault cliffs that would aid in sheltering a colony since there's no atmosphere and the moon's radioactive particles that are caused by its magnetosphere. Some of these fault cliffs are said to be deeper than the Grand Canyon, almost 12 times to be exact. Miranda is known for having large amounts of ice present, which could hold potential for liquid water located deep within the surface. There's also a very low center of gravity, that if anyone were ever to fall into one of the faults, their fall would be delayed to minutes and might not even die. Number 9. Europa Scientists not only believe that there's a high probability that humans could live here one day in the future, but that life on Europa could already exist. Just one of Jupiter's 67 moons that we know of, Europa is thought to have a large ocean that's locked away under the moon's thick, icy crust. This, in combination with the fact that the moon has a rocky core, could help create the right environmental conditions needed to sustain alien life, such as microbes. NASA one day hopes to study Europa in more detail by 2025 in order to determine if all their theories of water could prove true. Number 8. Titan Even though this moon of Saturn is located in the farther regions of the outer solar system, Titan is most likely one of the more suitable places for mankind and one of the many places scientists believe we should one day colonize. We would, however, need the assistance of special breathing equipment since Titan's atmosphere isn't able to sustain life, though we wouldn't be required to wear pressurized suits. The temperatures would reach around negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit along with almost little to no sunlight compared to the amount that we receive here on Earth. Lower levels of gravity would make walking described as a clumsy activity. The clouds on Titan would serve as protection from the elements, and though there is no water, there is an abundance of methane rivers and lakes that lead scientists to believe there could be presence of life that lives on methane instead of water. Number 7. Charon NASA's New Horizons space probe finally made its way to Pluto, and in the process of doing so, it also sent home incredible photographs of the planet's largest moon, Charon. This moon gets its name from Charon, the wife of the astronaut who discovered this moon, and not the Greek mythology character who is known as the ferryman that guides the newly dead souls into the underworld. These pictures created a debate that led to scientists discussing whether or not geological activity is present because of the surface of the moon and its planet looking much younger than scientists had initially thought. Even though there are cracks that are present on Charon's surface, the moon appears to be somewhat free of asteroid impacts. This leads some individuals to believe that Charon is an active world. Number 6. Enceladus According to many researchers, not only would Enceladus, one of Saturn's main moons, be a suitable place to set up a colony and study the planet, but it could also be the place most likely to already support life. This moon is covered in ice, but it has been viewed shooting ice particles high into space from geyser-like jets. Samples of the particles have been collected and analyzed by the Cassini spacecraft, which found traces of liquid water, nitrogen, and organic carbon. All of these elements and the source that shoots them into the sky are considered as the building blocks of life. The next direction for scientists to take is to find out if any more complex organisms are hiding underneath the moon's surface. Number 5. Triton Photographs and data sent back from the Voyager 2 spacecraft back in August of 1989 showed that the surface of Triton, Neptune's largest moon, was made up of nitrogen, ice, and rock. The suspicion of liquid water being hidden beneath the surface was raised. Even though the moon has an atmosphere, it would be pretty much the same as if it didn't have one because of how thin it is. The average temperature on the moon is an unbelievable negative 391 degrees Fahrenheit, making it the coldest body in the entirety of our solar system. Number 4. Mimas Also known as the Death Star Moon, and for good reason, Mimas is one of Saturn's icy and rocky moons. Mimas might have an ocean located beneath its cold and unwelcoming looking surface, which may possibly be better adapted for life. Close study of the Cassini footage by scientists show that Mimas looks to rock back and forth as it went around on its orbit. This could imply activity underneath its surface, however, scientists were very wary with what they found. 
stating that there hadn't been any other signs that point to geological activity. They merely stated that if an ocean was discovered, the moon could definitely be a candidate for being colonized. It's believed that the theoretical ocean would be about 15 to 18 miles below the surface. If the rocking movement that supports this theory of an ocean proves to be false, then the movement is most likely because of a misshapen core due to the strong gravitational pull caused by Saturn's rings. Number 3. Callisto Exactly the same size as the planet Mercury, Callisto is Jupiter's second largest moon. It looks like it has a large, liquid ocean hidden within its icy surface. The surface of Callisto mainly made up of craters and what are basically fields of ice. Callisto also has a relatively thin atmosphere consisting of carbon dioxide. Research that's already been performed has suggested that this atmosphere is being filled up again and again by carbon dioxide that is released from below the surface because it is too thin to stay in place. Collect data implies the chance that oxygen could also be actively present inside of the atmosphere, but there would need to be further tests to confirm if this theory holds true. Callisto is positioned in a safe enough space from Jupiter that the giant planet's radiation levels would be very mild. Number 2. Ganymede Ganymede happens to be Jupiter's largest moon, and like other masses in our solar system, it could potentially prove to have water trapped underneath its surface. If you were to compare it to other ice-covered moons, Ganymede's surface is believed to be relatively thin and should be much easier to break through. This moon also happens to be the only moon with its own gravitational field that creates its own auras, like the ones that are produced here on Earth. Their pattern and movement also leads scientists to theorize there is an ocean trapped underneath the surface. Because of Ganymede's thin oxygen atmosphere, it's too thin to support our life, but maybe enough to support terraforming. Back in 2012, the European Space Agency got the okay to go ahead and launch a mission to go and explore Ganymede and two other of Jupiter's moons, Europa and Callisto. The operation is scheduled to launch in 2022 and reach the moon 10 years later. Out of the three moons to be explored, scientists believe that Ganymede will have the best environment to study and potentially support life, if possible. Number 1. The Moon The first moon that mankind would colonate would, of course, be the Earth's very own moon. It's been described as a good dress rehearsal for potential colonization missions in the future because of how close it is to Earth compared to all the other moons. Earlier in March of this year, there was a story that was going around that this type of operation could be carried out within the next 10 years or so. NASA astrobiologist Chris McKay is one of the individuals who's on board with making this mission come to fruition. His opinion is that other missions to the moon have failed because of the high costs, but his team has a plan that requires little compared to previous missions. Although NASA's current focus is to get humans to land on Mars, McKay says that that won't come to light until they can first get to the moon and set up permanent bases there first. <laughs>